Opportunity is a funny thing in this world, because it's not equal for everyone. A pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity, but an optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. Basically, the complete DNA of YT Industries is coming from the idea to support younger people and give them a chance on a bigger stage to show their talent. The most important thing to remember is, when opportunity comes knocking, answer it. So we here in Japan. We here in South Africa. For the White Team of Walter, sick place, man. Super nice track, so a little sick to watch. Welcome, this is Young Talent Camp number four. Number six for us, we started in New Zealand, went to Argentina, Scotland, just came from USA, and here we are in Japan, here we are in South Africa. I would get ready for a course walk like you would normally, get your shoes on for those who don't have them, and uh, we'll head out soon. So what is a Young Talent Camp? What are we even talking about? It's an opportunity to give eight kids a ticket to the final tryout. But we will choose two young and talented individuals to race for the 2020 YT Monte. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Zefa. I'm Andrew. I'm Ishii Yamamoto. I'm Shawbega. Charlotte Wolfson. I'm 15. 14. 14. 15. 15. 15 years old. I come from Swazi. Japan. South Africa. Indonesia. Fisher. Japan. From Cape Town. Japan. Japan. There are many factors that can hold a young rider back from achieving their dreams, ranging from cultural differences, geographic challenges, economic indifference, language barriers, and a lack of mountain bike influence. But how do you break the mold if you're from a country that doesn't have the same opportunity as others? Yeah, it's tough. You can't just jump on a one hour flight or drive eight hours and be at an international race, which you can if you live in Spain or Portugal. So it's hard for them to be noticed. That's what we're here for, is to come and see the germinated seeds, to see if there's something that's about to take off. We want you to have fun here. We don't want you to worry about being selected to go to Europe. We've found that at every camp we've had, everyone's improved. So pace yourself over the two or three days we have you. For the chain of run, you're relying on their willingness not to pedal. It's in their own interest to do a, a real chain of run, a non-corrupted one. And this is against the clock, and we'll see where our South African brethren rank themselves. I think I'm quite tenacious. I won't stop trying until I can be the best for me. I mean, I don't want to sound like, oh my gosh, what is he talking about? Yours Three, weird. two, one, go. Try to pull both brakes, you go back. I want to go to the front without pedaling a little, so you carry a bit more speed. Go. Look, if Gwyn can win without a chain, if Nico Malali can get fourth at World Championships without a chain, it means they've done their work. They know where the course is giving them time. That's why I like to do chainless runs at times. I might not always be the pinnacle of what it means to be the best. Go. I like pushing myself to overcome whatever obstacle. Downhill is one of those sports where you have to exercise your self-discipline to help yourself grow. If you can't do that, you won't be prepared to race a World Cup. Put in the hard work now, and if you're lucky, you will be ready to seize the opportunity. I haven't seen that for a very Over long time. Over my time! There are a couple of standout rides in the chainless run, the rest are mid-pack. One thing you learn about finding limits is you don't really know your limit till you go over it. It's all for me. I'm very sad I can't ride my bike, so I need to do something in my life. Arigato, Masai. So when we thought about coming to Asia, for me, this was a no-brainer. We'd come to Japan, a country that's hosted World Cups before, and has shown to be a country that loves mountain biking. Compared to South Africa, Japan is culturally less tapered to action sports, which makes pursuing a career in downhill extremely difficult. It's hard with the language, but we'll try our best. Algo que es fácil, consigue ser difícil porque vas muy rápido. This nice guy is helping me, so he's Brazilian, but he came to Japan. So I talked to him Portuguese, and then he translated to Japanese. It worked out, it's working. Japan presents its own set of challenges. There's language barriers, there's cultural differences. 
and then there's the weather. You know, if it's not the winter, it's kind of the rainy season. We're stationed in the trail. So yeah, we're gonna session like kind of like the most important parts of the track. Slippery today also too. So it's gonna make things a bit harder, but I think at the same time it's better so you can learn a bit more. Send it! Fucking send it! There have been Japanese race to World Cups, but not a high number, not like Australians and New Zealanders who can integrate with language. And I think when you look at the quality of the bikes here, there's no shortage of money to buy the right gear. I think it's just a lack of comparison. Stop, 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 stop! In the wheel is fucked. You need to fix that. Huh? The wheel is so loose, like, you could see like the rim was moving on the hub. Patient, easy. Easy is better. You want to try again? Okay. With the goggles on the place? Yeah. <laughs> and then you go to Japan, and it's like, you see those quiet guys, they don't know any English, so there's no way you can talk to them really and know them. But once they get on the bike, they're kind of like loose and pretty fast, even if it was super muddy and slippery. <laughs> Did I tell you that they're gonna crash here? <laughs> but you don't see that like competitive part. They're more like having fun and enjoying the process and they're not like super focused on racing. These kids were a product of their environment, but with the right opportunities, they can be just as good as the hey. next rider. But it all starts hey. with that love for two wheels. His style is amazing. Oh, shit. Japan is very complex for us looking from the outside in. The starting point is that downhill mountain bike racing in Japan is a very new sport, and so it's hard to break into that. I can't really explain it other than it is a world unto itself. You okay? No. Some of them are quite good, but I don't think we have the same level that we have in other continents, but still pretty good. It's hard also to judge because it's slippery today, so it makes everything a bit harder. Sick. Oh, shit, <laughs> you're good. It's all stepping stones. You go from club level to national level to IXS, Crankworx level to World Cup, and you work your way up that ladder. But if you can't get your foot on the first rung, you're not going to get anywhere. Having a strong national series is definitely part of the equation, but it all starts at home. That's where they start to think, hey, I can take this further. Race day. Just, uh, for some reason, not as nervous. <laughs> It's just a tool for them. This is where it really matters. So we're expecting around about a two minute run. Okay, Ethan, keep it easy, bro. Keep it easy. All right, set the wheels roll, my dude. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, Mike. Go. This project resulted in us receiving over 550 applications from people with downhill bikes between the ages of 14 to 18 years old. And this shows that there's a growing new generation in mountain biking spanning across the globe. They came from very diverse nations, and I think anything we can do to inspire people to realize that it is possible if you really want to pursue it. But our message really is that you won't get to the third and fourth rung of the ladder unless there's a first and second. And the first and second is club activity and national activity. It's impossible for anyone to activate that other than the people that live there. It has to start with some motivated, incentivized people. Go out and figure it out. And the Federation will do the paperwork and stamp it, but go do it. It's possible. Johnson. My name is Leonardo. I'm James Elliot. I'm Luke Mumford. I'm Oshina Kalman. My name is Daniel Slash. I'm Dante Silva. My name is Ethan Farr. So what is a young talent camp? It's an opportunity to give eight kids a ticket. I'm from Somerset West. I'm from the Hurricane Pines and I'm, I'm 17. 16 years 15 old. 15 years old. Perfect. Go, go, go. That was good, eh? Well, we will choose two young and talented individuals to race for the 2020 YT Mom Team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll see you in Spain. 